Hey everyone, this is John from Super Geeks again, and today we're going to be taking a look at an app called Mighty Text. And what this allows us to do is send and receive text messages on our computers. Uh, for me, personally, this comes in very, very handy. Uh, I can keep track of important business conversations while I'm working on my computer. Uh, it's easier to type using your computer's keyboard, and you can do things like download pictures from conversations, um, easily you know, do a group text message from your web browser. Uh, this is an Android app only. This is not even available for iPhones, so I apologize to any iPhone users right now, but I promise we'll have more videos for you in the future. Uh, so where we will start with this app is actually on the phone. We need to download the app and get it set up first. So if you have your Android device with you, go ahead and pull it up and we will start at the Google Play Store which is Android's version of the App Store. So again we'll go to Play Store and up in the top right corner we will search for Mighty and generally that's all you need to type in it's gonna be the top result with that little M on it. It is a free app so all you have to do is hit install and accept that it's going to access some of your information. We'll let it finish downloading and installing. We'll go ahead and open it up. Uh, for this to go smoothly, you will need a Google account on your phone. So if you do not have a Gmail account, uh, you need to make one uh, it's it's good to have because there's a lot of interconnectivity with all of the Google products so get yourself a Gmail account if you don't have one if you do just select it from this drop down and hit complete setup again it's gonna ask if it's okay for this app to use that Google account and right here the final step is to go to that web address which is mightytext.net slash app. So pull up your internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome. Uh, there is an extension for this for Google Chrome that works very well. You'll just type in that address up top and you will sign in here with the same Gmail account you used on the phone to set up the app. Once you get signed in, uh, you'll see a little success button down on the on the app on the phone. Uh, you'll hit allow one more time, and that's it for the phone. You can close it. You really never need to access the app on the phone again. You don't actually use it to text from the phone. But here we have all of the text messages from my phone already loaded into Mighty Text. Uh, it's got all the pictures. It's got all my contact information already, so it's really pretty seamless. From here, you can go ahead and start replying to existing uh, message conversations. Just like that, that sent to uh, another person's phone. Um, over here on the left, under Photos and Videos, this actually contains every picture that I sent to somebody through a text message or that they sent me through a text message whether that was that happened on my phone or I did that from the computer so if I get a picture of an important piece of hardware or a good picture of my daughter texted to me I have access to it through here where I can save it to the computer um, my guy Braden just responded to that question I just texted him and it gives me a little pop-up notification right there uh, which you can see down here in the conversation under phone, there's a couple of cool features here. Um, you can dial a number. You can't actually make phone calls from this, but this will dial from your phone to whatever number you're wanting to call, and then you'll have to pick up the phone to actually talk to the person. Uh, one of the best features is ring my phone. So if you can't find your phone, which happens every day to a lot of people, hit this even if your phone's on silent or vibrate it will ring uh, you can send files to your phone so if you need a document or a picture you can send it through there all of the contacts 
are listed in here from the phone already and from here you can open up a text message you can also uh, send a new message with this new message button right here uh, it basically opens up like you would think of a blank email so you'll just start typing the person you want to send the message to and it will pull up your contact or you can just type in a phone number um, compose your text message right here and then send it you can also those four buttons on the bottom you can add a picture to it you can add an emoticon to it a smiley face um, you can add videos and if you subscribe to this product you can actually schedule text messages so if I'm thinking about something late at night but I don't want that person to get that text message until 9 a.m. I can do that um, so let's say I have other things to do besides look at mighty text all day I have to check my email do a word document that's okay because they have desktop notifications so I'm not in mighty text right now but I just got this little pop-up Braden just responded to that text message and a couple of things you can do you can reply right from here or if you're busy you can say remind me later and it'll pop up its own separate conversation box between me and Braden and you can reply straight from here the desktop notifications are a nice feature but if you're on a work computer uh, you might not want it popping up all of your text messages all day when you may not be there so you can turn those on and off or you can customize how they appear uh, a couple of good settings in here are delete messages on phone by default that's set to no I put that to yes because if I delete a message here I don't want it on my phone uh, just like email if I delete it one place I want it gone everywhere um, here are the pop-up notifications you can turn them on or off right here you can also change it to where the pop-ups are on but it actually is not showing the content of the text just the person's name and just like on your phone you have the option to send group text messages so we'll go to new message uh, if it's a contact again you'll just start typing the name if you don't have them saved as a contact you'll need to type in their phone number your message will go right there and you also have the option to send it as a group text message or in this case as three individual text messages so everybody won't get everybody else's replies which I think a lot of people appreciate uh, myself included you can add a picture to it and I think this feature particularly would pair very well with the scheduling so if I have a business text I'm gonna send out or I'm gonna send a text to some customers um, I can schedule that to happen at a later time or date and that's really it once once you get it installed on the phone and set up on the computer it's just like texting except you're using a mouse and a keyboard if you have any questions at all uh, give us a call shoot us an email and of course we're always interested in hearing your ideas for some future videos thank you for watching